Hey guys, GameBoy3800 here once again, and I have a, another computer case to review. This is the DIY PC GamerStorm case. It is another MATX case, and I think it's actually somehow even lighter than the Hybotics I reviewed from Raidmax, and I gave that a good review. However, um, as I just said, weight is not everything. It does not d determine quality. So let's give this the benefit of the doubt and see what's inside. Inside we see a case. I will get it out. Alright, so this here is what we get. An out of focus case. The foam is um, actually kind of soft, and I do think it will do pretty good while traveling. So good on you there. The next thing we see is something that for me is super familiar. Because it's got like a rounded edge here, some dents there. It looks just like my main phantom case. So... Hmm. That gives me high hopes for this already. Taking up the enormous amount of plastic wrapping all over it. I will leave the side window um, protected for now because usually on lower end cases, or I guess cheaper cases, um, the side panel can scratch easily. That's one bad thing about this. Case feet are kind of slippery, but... You know, so we're the Raid Max, and I assume we can just get a little, like, sticker thing. Like, you know, rubber stickers. And super shiny uh, metal. That's giving me issues coming out. What's going on? There we go. Alright. A nice big back plate opening here. So that will be good. No rubber grommets. I was kind of expecting that. It's a steam mount here, it looks like. Or some kind of hard drive mount. On the bottom, we see there is a power supply dust filter, but of course it will be the cheaper variant kind. And let's see what we have inside the case on the other side. We get a fairly small um, whole everything here, like it's a mini case. The other one, the Raid Max one was kind of mini as well, but not to this extent. Because, you know, it was extra wide. And would you look at that? You can't even fit an optical drive in this. Not that I was expecting it to, but you know, whatever. However, it does look like I can fit a 120mm front irradiator. Or even... Nope. Not, I was going to say maybe even a top one, but... You know, can't have all good things. So you have a random, maybe blue LED fan powered by Molex. And another blue LED fan powered by Molex here. Wait a minute. Is it possible to have three 120 millimeter fans in the front? That seems almost too good to be true for this kind of case. If those are 120 millimeter fan slots, this will be amazing. Oh no. Yeah, they are. There are 120mm fan slots there. So that means I can get my H105 GT in there. And then the bottom fan seems to be slightly smaller. Right, there are 120mm fans, so that's actually quite nice to see. 
However, um, they're probably cheap fans and it probably won't provide very much airflow. But hey, there's two fans included. That's more fans that were included with most of the cases I've seen recently. Like Raid Max, it only had the one rear exhaust fan, and that was more, it cost more than this. So I guess we're off to a pretty good start. Fan power. What you mean, fan power? Power, reset. Oh, you can turn off the fan power, I think, if you don't want it on. That's pretty cool. I will need to test that out. So, I know what I'll do. I will route, since these are all Molex fans, and even this fan here is a Molex fan. Since they're all Molex, I'll have them all being routed through this one. And then I can control them through the button up top. So that would be cool. Really cool, actually. See what I did there? Cool. Fan. Pun. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways, this being an MATX case, it has all the supports for it. Right now it has the supports in for a mini ITX case, but in this um, standard baggy thing here, I guess we're not expecting too much of this $35 case. Well, for me, it was on sale. I don't know if it's $35 anymore. But we'll find out. And yeah, I, I can already tell there's more standoffs in there. So, you, yeah, you can get a full MATX system in here. That means dual GPUs. Thanks for the front. Um, yeah, front intakes. Um, big water cooling. And lots more fan options. The system that's going to go in here will be pretty insane. I have a... Um, Asus RG Gene 4, I think, or Gene 5, whatever. And it's got a 4820K. And that is awesome. There's just one big screw in there with another, like, screw going through it there. See it? It's like an extra standoff kind of thing. I need to figure out what it is. All right. That's all for the case. I will now get something inside of it and test it out. See you in a bit. I actually thought you would like to see what it looks like without all the side panels and everything on. And it is all metal. Thin metal, but all metal. All the connections are connected to the top panel, so if you need to clean out the top fan, watch out for that. And then the case is actually coming out a bit. So, you know, you can make it much easier for push-pull. And you could not actually have a 360 millimeter radiator up front because the drive cage is riveted in. Unfortunate, but expected. I will make use of these two front um, 240 millimeter intakes though. That will do nicely for my liquid cooler I have planned up. Yeah. All right. Onto the build. All right, here it is as it stands right now. I used the two fans included with my radiator and put them on the front. It's a 240 millimeter, 38 millimeter thick radiator. You can kind of see it there. I had to take out the bottom fan though because you know there's not enough space for it. However, I, I did put it up top. You won't be able to see that, but yep, it is up top. And then working around back. Um, I did need to do the tradition of standing on the side panel in order to get it to close, but that's not the case's fault. It's more the fault of me using a power supply with, like, um, cables long enough to reach the other end of the house. Anyways, we will now take off this, now that it's safe to try. And it's tinted dark, so you can't really see inside of there, but it does show off all the components quite well. The power supply, the processor area and the graphics card, which in this um, computer is a GTX 960, and that is a 4820K under that CPU block, and you can kind of see a little bit better that radiator. 
I shall now put on the front because it's actually quite easy to get on and off as you will see in about two seconds. Just line it up and then press or punch. As I said before, um, no disc drive and I guess the glossy finish of this will mean yep it is indeed a fingerprint magnet. However, um, plastic now the top two parts are plastic, and there is a slight color variation between the metal side panels and the plastic bits, but it's not too bad, especially when having the blue lights on, it won't be really noticeable. So yeah, coming around back, we'll see just basically what everything looks like. There's only a 120mm fan slot on the back, no other choices there. And then this machine could house dual GPUs. You can see in there another PCI slot. So if you wanted to throw a second 960 in here, you are very welcome to. This machine is actually for sale right now. So if you want any pricing information, please feel free to let me know. Or, you know, just let me know. Whatever. And then, of course, up top, they have the glorious Made in China. There you go. You can kind of see that now. Alright. I never did find out what... Where is it? Where is it? It must have fallen. Okay. Ah, here it is. I never really did find out what this one extra long screw is for. Maybe it's to put something on in the motherboard. Or maybe it's meant to hold this in. But, you know. It actually didn't want this... It didn't want to screw in quite all the way. So I don't know what it's for. All right, by the way, even if you take out the screw, this thing is still held in by clips. And it is vented so that if you have a taller GPU that um, uses some extra cooling up top, like the EVGA classified cards, then you know it'll be able to get air out there. And that's cool. All right, I'll see you when it's all powered up. Note yourself. Overclock after installing Windows. La 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 la.